out on a hike at Richard B. Russell State Park in upstate Georgia. Kind of finding some cool videos here, but look at this old train bridge. And it literally has train tracks still on it, looks like. Although those might be for car tires to go over. We're going to have to go down there and check that out. But I thought I'd start it back here because we were just checking out this um, kind of big picnic area. And I thought this wall was really cool. So Richard B. Russell State Park is near Elberton, Georgia, which is between St. Cloud, Minnesota and Elberton, Georgia. They're considered the granite capitals of kind of the United States for different reasons. But uh, let's go down and check that out. There's a good shot of it. Look at that. And there's a osprey nest up on it too. Nothing in it right now. But yeah, this wasn't a train bridge. You could tell that these were these uh, these were tire slats put down to distribute weight across the uh, the cross boards. But uh, it's pretty cool structure. I love these old bridges like this. And this is just a little gully that's here. And uh, this is the. Uh, if you go up this way, you go to the beach at Russell State Park. And if you go down this way, you go to the main channel. But yeah, these were these were for tires. They had a four wide on each side. And you could, uh, that way you're not just driving straight over the uh, cross boards. It kind of distributes the weight a little bit better. You could see how they, uh, when they put them in too, they put them staggered. Like there's one cut, there's another. Kind of like when you put in the hardwood floors in a house. That way they're they're spreading the weight out a little bit and not wearing down the uh, the boards underneath get a little bit of a break on the weight that's on an individual board when it's going by. They must have had a bad board here and they just covered up with metal. But this is a cool old bridge, man. Wow. Yeah, and this is kind of like mini. You can see the size of my hand. On the bigger bridges, this is like three, sometimes two or three times bigger than that. And uh, when we were kids, we'd crawl up in them. But yeah, this is really neat. Julie's checking it out back there. No osprey, but look at the look at all the branches up in there. You get a good shot of how big the branches are. You can see how big truly is. And then how big the branches are. Look at that. Those aren't just little twigs. Those are actually chunks of tree right there. Some of them are smaller, but most of them are pretty big. We figure it's an osprey nest because uh, I don't know if herons like to sit in the open like this. I think herons like to go up onto, uh, up onto the... Um, tree limbs and find a nice covered tree and like hide up in there and I've never actually seen a heron nest um, usually we see them just like sleeping on a branch just hanging out and sleeping well I was hoping we could get down to the side over here you know what I'm gonna go back real quick over to this other side and show you the underneath real quick thought that was kind of interesting I'm about to go stand stand on that and I'm like I don't know Oh, maybe I shouldn't. That wire mesh isn't going to hold up for much longer. It's all empty underneath, and it doesn't look like it's cemented in, so the wire mesh is just holding it up. <laughs> like, this one's falling apart here. Look at the wire mesh is still there, but all the rocks have fallen out. You can see it's very deep here, underneath there. So let's check out the under underside here. All right, I'm out on it. <laughs> Let's see if I fall in or not. You can see this one has still got a lot in it, but then the end is just completely collapsed. But Okay, so there's a better shot of that bridge. Look at that. Beautiful. Isn't that cool? And it looks like uh, there's not a lot to the underneath. I thought there'd be a little bit more as far as support goes. It's got these, these cross beams, right? And then it's got some uh, small... Not very large, probably about that big, uh, pieces that go from, you can see underneath there if you look carefully. See that little bar right there? That goes from one to the other, along and back and forth underneath, but I guess, uh, 
And this looks almost like it can pivot. Look at that, that piece right there, that one right there, all these look like they could kind of pivot and, and if, if the bridge is, sorry, I gotta zoom out. If the bridge is flexing, it does that, but it really must get all its support from all this top stuff up here. And that's what holds it up. Fascinating, but beautiful old bridge. Let's take a look from the other side real quick. That's the best I can get on it. <laughs> so I'll just wrap it up here, but I thought you guys might dig this. I thought it was really cool. So check it out. Just beautiful old drive bridge, now just a walking bridge here at Russell, uh, Richard B. Russell State Park, upstate Georgia, right on the South Carolina border, basically real close. And uh, if you like our videos, please hit that like and subscribe. You can check out another one right there. Check out our channel right there, over 1,600 videos now. So please take a look. Please hit that subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.